Hey guys, so this video is going to be about the 25 best jobs in 2018. And, um, yeah, and this is, um, the list is based off of stats coming from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. So, you all know that I'm not making this shit up and just. Uh, rally off a list of like random jobs that I think are the best. This is actually from uh, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, which is a part of the Federal Department of Labor. So this is a, le a legit list of that I found right now. So let's get started. Number 25 is Mathematician. Now I know but everybody hates math because it's hard, it sucks, and just, in general, nobody likes it, so, but it's a really good job, and, um, yeah, apparently for being such a hard job, I guess, I would, I'm assuming, because I don't know, the unemployment rate is 1.4% for mathematicians, so it's pretty good. Um, if you became a mathematician, I don't know how soon you would find a job in that field or anything like that, but if you like math and you're good at it and this is what and this is something that you think you might want to do, then go for it. Number four, not number four, number 24 is actuary. Um, the, again, I guess unemployment rate for this, uh, job is 1.4%. Um, a little bit about it, I guess. Um, this job falls into the business industry, and um, I guess people who work in this, who have this job, use math and economics to help corporations predict and manage risks. Um, yeah, they use uh, design tests, analyzing models, and they present and once um, they've done these, they uh, show the findings to the company execs and go from there and do whatever they do. So, um, yeah, and I guess um, it's a pretty uh, big deal. It's field that's growing a lot so the demand for this I guess is supposed to increase by 22 and a half percent by 2026 so maybe this is not such a bad job to think about considering you make a hundred thousand dollars a year and that's just like the median salary so you could make more than that or you could make a little bit less than that but still that's like a pretty good average salary number 23 is optometrist <coughs> excuse me yeah so uh, obviously if you're an optometrist you work with eyes and it's in the healthcare industry so um, honestly like the healthcare industry is always gonna need jobs and stuff like that so be a good idea to go into the health field and do this you know if you don't want to be a doctor for anything else or you're just deciding hey what should I do in medicine and if you decide if you're deciding what kind of doctor to be so this would be a good idea for a possibility uh, the unemployment rate is 1.8% so that's also pretty good that also goes back into it's in the healthcare field, so obviously you're going to do pretty well finding a job in medicine. Um, the demand for this is supposed to increase by 17.3% by 2026, so again, like, jobs, like the uh, job availability for this is right now is pretty good, but it's going to go up in the next few years. So, number 22 is nurse anesthetic. anesthetic. So, you're pretty much the nurse that's going to be giving the people the drugs to knock them out before they go into surgery. Um, 
median salary for this is $160,000, so that's also really good. So if you're thinking about going to nursing or you're already doing nursing and you might want to make that little bit of extra money, become the nurse that gives people their meds to knock them out before they go into surgery. Uh, the unemployment rate is 2.7% for this job. Again, that's, I guess, not too bad considering you're in medicine, um, you're going to the healthcare field, so again, I think just about anything you do in the uh, medical field, you're probably always going to be able to find a job somewhere, for, you know, and you're always going to be able to find work and get paid decently depending on what in the field you're doing, but, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, so, again, uh, the demand for nurse anesthetics are supposed to grow. I hope I'm pronouncing these right, by the way. If I'm not, sorry. Um, the, uh, how do I say, the demand for it's supposed to grow to sit, grow by 16% by the year 2026. So, there's always that. Uh, number 21, respiratory therapist. Um, yeah, so, that job, I guess it's pretty self-explanatory, but, uh, you're a you help people who have trouble breathing. It, I know it took me a minute to get past the brain fart that I just had, but um, yeah, your median salary is $58,000 for this job again. Um, yeah, it doesn't sound like a lot, but remember, like, this is the, like, the middle of the road salary for this job, so you could make a little bit lower than this, which I don't think would be too bad, or you could make more than this, too, so, but considering the unemployment rate for this job is only 0.8%, it, that's really good, so, honestly, if you're, if you're gonna get into this field, you, you'll be... You won't have a hard time finding a job, I'm assuming. If you do, it's just a matter of, I guess, depending on where you live and finding a good hospital to, or not, well, not hospital, maybe hospital or wherever to find a place that will actually consider hiring on, especially if you're fresh out of school and have no experience. Uh, number 20, physical therapist assistant. Yeah, right. So, uh, median salary is fifty-six thousand dollars for this. Again, yeah, not too bad. So, considering that's the average, so I won't complain. But this is in the healthcare support industry, and the last one was also in the healthcare uh, industry. Um, you're pretty much just like helping people regain the ability of like their leg or their ankle or whatever like injured body part they have that they need uh that they just had like surgery on or hurt bad that they need to help uh improve to need help on to improve the usage of that limb so uh so move on number 19 is marketing manager uh it's in the sales industry and the median salary is $131,000 for this, so uh, maybe you should, I don't know what schooling, like, what like, kind of sort of college education you might need for this, but I would imagine you might have to go to school to get a little bit of education on how marketing works and stuff like that, but does that seems like a decent job and an unemployment rate is at 2.8 percent for this so not too bad but i guess it could be worse but uh it is what it is so number 18 registered nurse obviously um health care uh median salary is sixty eight thousand dollars so again you're making decent money and 
Unemployment rate's only one point two percent, which doesn't surprise me considering the demand there are there is for nurses nowadays. So I'm, if you go to school for that, you're more than likely to get hired like right out of school almost or like whatever. So and but then again, um, medicine's not for everyone. So like if you want. So, if you want like, a good job, maybe one of the other jobs in this list are for you if you necessarily don't want to do nursing. Okay, next one, number 17, dental hygienist. Um, dental hygienists make $72,000 a year, and their unemployment rate is only 0.5%. So, maybe you don't mind you know, working with teeth and looking into people's mouths all day and, like, just cleaning their teeth and getting them like that, doing some of the stuff to help, like, set up for the actual dentist before they come in and do, like, all the other stuff that you don't do. But maybe this is, again, something that could work out for you. Okay, number 16 is a... Prosthodontist. Um, salary is 126000 a year. Unemployment rate 0.4%. Um, I guess uh, these people uh, specialize in replacing missing teeth. So, um, like, they make your dentures or, like, partial dentures or just replace your missing teeth, pretty much. So... Again, if you don't mind, like, working with teeth and stuff, and teeth and people's mouths don't gross you out, maybe this is something you can consider. Hey, number 15, psychiatrist. So, if you like, really, like, dissecting people's minds, and uh, you like helping people, and uh, want to do something in mental health, and like helping people, and... All this kind of stuff. This would be a good thing to do for you. Uh, unemployment rate is 1.8%. Median salary is $194,000. Number 13, surgeon. Um, unemployment rate is 0.5%. Median salary is upwards of $208,000. Um, yeah, make really great money, but at the same time, the downside is, since I, surgeons are so are in such high demand, you're going to be at work just, like, constantly, and you're not going to really have much, like, off time to, like, be at home to relax and uh, just spend time with, like, family if you get married and stuff like that. So that's why you hear about, like, surgeons and stuff like being like having like the trophy wife or and having kids and stuff, but they end up getting divorced because you know they're always at work because they because something's always going on where they need a surgeon and they work such long hours. Okay, uh, number thirteen, anesthesiologist. Uh, again, median salary is upwards of two hundred eight thousand dollars, and the unemployment rate is zero point five percent. Um, again, important people for. Uh, in the medical field and for in the medical field, so this is just another one of those jobs where you know takes a lot of school and takes a lot out of you and all that kind of stuff. And um, it's just a very demanding job, so I don't know if it'd be for everybody. Okay. Number twelve, physical therapist. Uh, Unemployment rate is 0.7% on it right now, and the median salary is $85,000. Uh, number 11, occupational therapist. Uh, I guess, you know, again, it's just therapy, so, and it's in the healthcare system, so I guess it's just one of, it's pretty self-explanatory, and if you want to know about, more about it, you can just go on, like, Google and research it. Same with all these other jobs. Uh, unemployment rate zero point three percent, and the median salary is eighty one thousand dollars. Number eight, a physician. Um, physicians make like an average of one hundred ninety six thousand a year, and their unemployment rate is zero point five percent. Again, really good, and you want to make the big bucks, and 
you want to like have a decent like work week and still be able to get home and stuff and you still want to do something like maybe like a doctor or something like that maybe this is for you number eight oral and uh myofascial surgeon i hope i said that right um median salary is upwards of two hundred and eight thousand dollars and unemployment rate of zero point five percent number eight obstetrician and gynecologist so OBGYN uh, you make upwards of two hundred eight thousand dollars for your median salary and unemployment is at zero point five percent number seven is pediatrician so you work with kids so kind of mixes the whole working with kids and working in the medical field and putting them together uh, median salary is $168,000 and unemployment rate is 0.5%. Number six is uh, number six is a uh, statistician. Yeah, statistician. It's statistician. I can't say. I hope I said it right, but it's in the business industry. You make a median salary of $80,000. Unemployment rate is at 1.4%. And then, uh, you crunch numbers and you help businesses, and the federal government make decisions about complicated problems. That's all you, that's pretty much what you do. Number five is orthodontist. So you get to torture people by putting braces on their teeth. How fun. Um, median salary is upwards of 208000 a year, and unemployment rate is 0.4%. Number four is nurse practitioner. Uh, unemployment rate is at 0.7%, and median salary is $100,000 a year. Now for the top three. Number three, physician's assistant. So you make 101000 a year, and your unemployment rate is at 0.7%. Not too bad. Number two, dentist. Um, zero point four percent is the unemployment rate, and you make one hundred fifty three thousand a year. So it's pretty good money for you know torturing people by pulling out teeth and stuff. I'd say. And then number and number one is software developer. Um, obviously, um, anything to do with computers or electronics in general and software that goes with them or anything tech related is going to be big. Um, unemployment rate is 1.6% and median salary is $100,000. Uh, yeah, so that's it this for this video. Um, hope you liked it. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon so that way you get notified every time I upload a video. And go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links to those will be down in the description below. And click on that video right there. That's my last video. And click on that video right there. That's the video that YouTube suggests that you watch because they know what you like to watch. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.